Hello, peace record for everyone. I'm Irfan Ardiansa. At this moment, I will present our paper entitled PGB UPHT Calibration Laboratory Business Strategy with Business Model Canvas Method. The introduction PGB UPHT is developing a calibration laboratory and in the can accreditation process. The initial goal of Establishing a calibration laboratory was to self-manage the calibration internally. With the enactment of the AEC, the potential for the calibration market in Indonesia is promising. Calibration laboratories can be the further developed as a new line of business. For this purpose, the business strategy should be applied to a calibration laboratory based on an appropriate business model. This paper has objective. To determine the current calibration laboratory business model, create several alternative business model for calibration laboratories. Determine the most appropriate business model for a calibration laboratory. Research method. The study was conducted at the calibration laboratory at PGB UP HD in Gresi, East Java. The study was conducted using qualitative descriptive methods. The data used in this study are primary and secondary data. Primary data were obtained from interview with the head of calibration laboratory and the result of the FGD with five people who were calibration laboratory team. Secondary data is data that has been collected by other parties in the form of document literary books and in the internet. Data collection techniques used in this study were carried out through interview and FGD. Business model development is carried out through a series of analyses which begin with a descriptive analysis that analyzes the current uh, condition. Identification and elements of a PMC is needed to determine the goal of to be achieved by the organization or according to the objective to be achieved. Furthermore, each element is assessed in detail with a SWOT analysis of internal and external factor. PMC and SWOT is the basis in the designing alternative PMC1. Next, an analysis is carried out using POST with a four-step framework analysis tool of the nine elements of the current business model canvas will produce alternative PMC2. From the two alternative PMC, minutes decision analysis will be conducted to obtain the business model that is most suitable. The strategic action plan will be prepared to obtain the calibration laboratory business strategy. Analysis framework can be shown in this picture. This is calibration laboratory current PMC. In the customer segments blocks, there is an internal PGB in customer relation blocks, conducting outreach in the internal forum of PGB companies such as through the KSF. In channel block, office automation, phone and WhatsApp, and email. Value proposition block, well, all master calibrator are among the highest in this class for the scope of electricity. The calibration time is faster than the external calibration laboratory. Key activities block, calibration of measuring instrument and instrumentation. Key research block, calibration laboratory room, uh, HDM consists of three coordinators and 10 calibration engineer from the maintenance sector. Master calibrator, one set for each scope. Quality guidelines according to ISO 17 025 Key partners block 1. Master Calibrator Supplier 2. Surveyor Indonesia as an accredited consultant 3. CAN as an accreditation institution Constructors block Fulfillment of laboratory facilities and infrastructure 2. Consultant service 3. Accreditation fee 4. Laboratory equipment In the revenue streams it still don't have income yet. <coughs> to get the alternative PMC1, a SWOT analysis was carried out to improve the current PMC by FGD. From the SWOT of each canvas building block, identification of internal and external factor will be carried out as shown in Table 1 and Table 2. From the result of the analysis of internal and external factor table calculation in Table 3 and Table 4, it shows that the value of a score, namely the internal factor of strength, has a score of 1.40. 
and the weakness factor has score of 2.00 with a difference of minus 0.60 while the external factor obtainer for the opportunity to have score of 1.78 and for trades uh, have a score of 1.26 with a difference of plus 0.52 from the next identification process, the calculation process score to determine the quadrant position on the SWOT diagram. Position of calibration liability in the SWOT diagram can be seen in figure 3. Based on that, it found the calibration laboratory industry is in quadrant 3, which supports the turnaround, namely business conditions that are facing enormous opportunities but also has several internal obstacles of our weakness that must be faced. Business development obstacle efforts can be done by making improvements to the elements that are weakness in the company. The strategy used in business condition in the turnaround quadrant is to apply the weakness opportunity strategies. Alternative PMC1 was designed from the current PMC, which is being improved based on SWOT analysis that has been done for the nine elements of the PMC. Improvements were made to seven of nine canvas elements as shown in this figure. The blue color shown the improvement has been made. Alternative PMC2 generate using the Post analysis. The post analysis is carried out using a combination of a four step framework and current PMC. The design of alternative business model combined with post principle rest for main question, namely what can be created, eliminate, improve, and reduce, referring the current and future condition. From the result of the post analysis obtained an alternative PMC to as shown in this figure. The blue color is created. The pink color is eliminate, the yellow color is improved. There is none to reduce. After obtaining the alternative PMC as explained previously, it is necessary, necessary to analyze the decision making to determine the best PMC for the calibration laboratory. Analysis of decision making is done using the mean out concept. An alternative PMC 1 and 2 will be carried out a screening and evaluation process based on absolute criteria and desires that have been determined as shown in table 6. From the table 6, we get the data that alternative PMC1 gets a value of 287, while alternative PMC2 gets the value of 379. From the two alternatives, the results show that the alternative PMC2 more meets the requirement of the desired criteria compared to alternative PMC1. From the result of the assessment, it is found that alternative PMC2 has a greater desired criterion value than alternative PMC1, but it is also known that alternative PMC2 uh, has higher adverse consequence than alternative PMC1. This means that alternative PMC2 has more uh, promising business potential than alternative PMC1, but it is require more effort to run it on time and cost. Therefore, with this consideration, a decision was obtained that alternative PMC1 will be applied first and after two years will be replaced by alternative PMC2. Conclusion 1. The development of PGB UBH decalibration laboratory business model is done by using SWOT analysis to produce alternative PMC1 and using post analysis to obtain alternative PMC2. Number 2. The selection of business model is done using minute decision making analysis and obtain business model selected as PGB UBH decalibration laboratory business strategies is alternative PMC1 to be implemented in first two years and alternative PMC2 to be implemented in the next years. Number three, further research can be done so that the business model canvas can be applied. Then a strategic action plan is carried out on the four main building blocks that are most 
influential on the implementation of the business model canvas. This is the presentation of this paper. Thank you for your attention.